When I was small, everything was alive and nothing had a name. It's a transgenerational story of a family. The top tier is about to fall off. It's how the middle ones react to that and decide to reflect on that as well. They all are very different from each other, but they all have to come together and exist together because of this mum who's so ill. The man in the film has quite a lot of difficulty in forming relationships outside his family because of the difficulties within his family. I think there's a variety of personalities, so when you put a variety of personalities, strong personalities, around a dinner table, um, it's really interesting to see what happens, um, both in real life and in this film. The main thing that's different is the amount of different formats that we're working with. So we're working with stills and we're working with various different cameras. And that makes it very interesting. Everything informs each other and uh, that's why it's been quite an organic process. We change one thing and it changes a lot of things around it. This is not a conventional film and watch it because you don't get many opportunities to see this type of filming. It needs to be finished and everyone who is in it has put so much personal passion into it. I feel uh, pleased with what we've achieved and it's been a very enjoyable process. Slightly sad that it's nearly over but also glad that it's reached the stage where we're beginning to bring sound into the equation because sound is a whole other dimension that I think is going to take the film to a different level and really underline all the ideas that we've been working with over the last the last week well. It's a true reflection of I think how families work and I love it for it. Family it's everything really to me in a funny way. I find it very difficult to articulate what it is and therefore I put it all in the film. It is a film that really speaks to my personal um, joy of filmmaking. <laughs>